Water releases from Lake Okeechobee towards both Florida coasts resumed today. They had been suspended the past couple of days because of concerns over the spread of toxic algae blooms. The Army Corps of Engineers said that it had to release some water due to rising lake water levels. A state of emergency remains in effect for parts of the state. Earlier this week, the White House backed Florida's efforts to secure federal funding for a reservoir intended to move water away from Lake Okeechobee and reduce those discharges altogether. The funding request for the Everglades Agriculture Cultural Area Reservoir now heads to the U.S. Senate. Shannon Estenaza is the COO of the Everglades Foundation. Algae blooms are a symptom of a sick ecosystem. Uh, just like if you have a young child and, and they have a fever, a high fever, uh, you know that something is causing that fever. Yes, the fever is the immediate crisis, but the cure is to, is to really cure what's causing the fever, and that's what Everglades restoration is all about. This reservoir is a, one of the most critical components of Everglades restoration. It's really important that we move forward with the restoration pro project if we want the entire region to be sustainable into the future. And you can watch the rest of Lauren's interview with Shannon Estenaz and much more on Facing South Florida. Sunday at 1130, Lauren is filling in for Jim DeFiti this week.